Me olemme täällä Turun linnassa ja meillä on ruotsalaisbändi Kall. Meillä on täällä Felix ja Kim, jotka vastailevat erinomaisen jännittäviin kysymyksiin. So, hello guys, uh, you're in, here in Turku, by the Turku Castle. What's going on? Yeah, we're just uh, taking in the views and uh, enjoying a nice day in uh, the harbor. So, uh, how was yesterday? You performed uh, for a pretty full audience in the New Gongi place. How was the feeling from last night? It was, uh, it was a really good show. I think um, most people, I would assume, don't really know about us or did not know about us. But uh, and it's a hard crowd. I guess it's the same as in Sweden. People are not really sh you know, getting into the music that open. But I think we won them over eventually, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I saw some people after a while dancing and that's always a good... <laughs> was the crowd something you expected to see? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, I think it was... Uh, really good because uh, after a couple of songs everyone were into the mood that we we're doing since we're really different from the other bands performing at the festival because we have more of a stoner kind of vibe. <laughs> yeah, I, I could describe you more like you have those kind of post-metal elements which are not very common uh, considering it's more like a black metal event and you have You both have a history in the more known band Life Lover, which is now in the grave. Yep. So, uh, what's Carl has? Uh, how how different Carl is from Life Lover? Well, um, I think it's a it's a different it's a new chapter, and uh, we've uh, we've come a long way, you know, since starting out, and we've been doing music for a long time, and this is um, yeah, this is a new this is a new era, of course, and it's uh, it's something new and something that we've been. It's more free, I'd say, and it's um, yeah, it's a new chapter, I guess. It's a uh, yeah, it's a new start. So. Okay, since Kim, you do a lot of the lyrics for the band. Yeah. What kind of topics you are mostly writing about, and what kind of uh, ideas inspire you the most? Well, uh, uh, I walk a lot in the woods and I wander, uh, and uh, I don't own a car, uh, so for me, just going to the town to buy some food that's uh, four hours to walk <laughs> and uh, during these moments I uh, I usually incorporate uh, 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 different uh, psychedelic experiences uh, and uh, I paint a lot as well so uh, when I do these things uh, I often meditate and the painting is a form of meditation too for me so And that's what inspires uh, the lyrics for me, that uh, becomes the Cal uh, concept uh, that uh, is of course things that all members are very passionate about and uh, we have a very psychedelic infused way of looking at things in the world because it's like a magnifying glass, you know, upon everything. Okay, it has been uh, said that And, and it's not really an uncommon thought that having uh, psychedelic ideas of course has something to do with uh, certain abuse of certain kind of uh, stuff like uh, different drugs or alcohol or stuff. How big part that kind of uh, stuff has to do with, with the band? Well, uh, we uh, uh, have been very focused on not having it as a Uh, focal element like it's not uh, what it's about since the, that our past in life flower uh, the drugs and uh, became too much of what the band was about and that became become some limitation after a while and the uh, Cal is all about having no limitations that we can have no boundaries and do whatever the fuck we want There's definitely uh, not an abusive side to it it's yeah. just a, it's just a means to an end I think you know it's sometimes you uh, You can have the the more the most profound, uh, you know, psychedelic experiences or like the most uh, insightful experiences. Just be just being sober during the right circumstances. So I think it's just uh, sometimes you can be a push in the right direction. And uh, but I think for for us, we're just very um, we're very keen on we're very focused on going to the to the root of all existence, basically to find something, you know, to kind of ascend this uh, earthly experience in a sense, and how we get there you know it's uh, depends and it's various i suppose yeah. Yeah, there's different so. uh, different vehicles for different journeys exactly so um, <laughs> different keys to different doors 
Okay. So when it comes to your musical side, and you said you have no boundaries when it comes to how you want to reflect your thoughts and ideas. How does your music then get created? Is it dependent on uh, various substances or is it more like free flowing as you mentioned earlier? It's, the, it's just a passion for uh, for creating, you know, and a passion for music. And what well, it could just be a like I said, like a spur of the moment thing in the rehearsal place from a jam or from somebody's idea that somebody's been thinking on. They've been nagging on your mind while you wouldn't be able to sleep last night, you know, and you just sort of have to create something. And then the rest of the process is very organic, you know, in this band. So let's say that Kim has an idea, or I have an idea, or you know the other members have an idea and we just sort of work on it and we take a step back and look at it and then we yeah, infuse kind of different kinds of elements and we want to definitely make it as you know we have really want to enforce a feeling that you, you get from the song and whatever way we do that it depends you know we could have a saxophone on it or like some i don't know like a rose piano xylophone or just fucking beating on some uh, can in the you know and the rehearsal place it's uh, it's different but we really want we're keen on not just doing things for the sake of it but you know uh, or like more is more it's just you know what can amplify the feeling of the song and the feeling that the lyrics uh, that the song is about you know it's uh, so i think we live it very freely you know and we experiment a lot so it's the uh, same with drugs i suppose <laughs> okay so so since your music is not exactly a typical swedish extreme metal music or metal music in the first place how does that affect your so to speak your position in the Swedish metal scene are you looked upon as a weirdos or just like a pioneers we're outcasts <laughs> by choice I suppose yeah. yeah I don't think I don't think we really fit in and I don't think a lot of people and we're not even trying no we're not really <laughs> trying that hard I'm not I don't really know where we're supposed to stand in the scene I think we're almost Every time since I started playing, it was the same with Life Lovers, suppose. We've always felt like we were outside of like the other community or what you say, you know. It's uh, We always find the special people and we bond with some people, of course, but it's not like we feel that we're uh, as much, uh, we don't have an obligation to any scene, you know, so... Yeah, it's, it's like uh, what uh, we talked about uh, with hypothermia, me and Richard, that we're not satisfied with uh, not only uh, uh, the culture and the traditions, uh, but also the music scene. We, we, th that's why we create our own. We're, we're instead of being uh, trying to adapt and be a part of a scene that we're not really feeling a part of, we we are creating our own brotherhood and our own cult and our own music and our old traditions, and uh, that's uh, also hidden in our name because Kalle in Swedish that uh, that's not only the word for cold, but it's also a word for a calling. Okay. And that's what this is for us. We're kind of like the gypsies of the black metal scene, <laughs> if you want to say yeah, it. Like. Well, well, that's a pretty way to put it. So, uh, how does your music uh, reflect your everyday life or the other way around? <laughs> Not much. Oh, well, it depends, you know, if uh, it's what I would want to to make my life around. But of course, you have uh, other obligations and you have uh, you have to, you know, get some sort of uh, bread on your table and everything. But uh, aside from that, it's it's um, it's definitely a big part of our lives and it's also the various elements of our lives outside of the music it also of course gets integrated into the music i think it's uh it's uh it has to be dependent it cannot be like uh, you know you, uh, for me anyway you know for the music to be true for the music to be uh, for the art to be uh, genuine you know it has to be your your whole life you know you have to like expose yourself you know to be naked in front of not literally, but or, or literally, sometimes literally. But you know, you need to, yeah, you need to incorporate everything, you know, and you cannot like shy away from anything. You have to be honest, you know. And if I, you know, if I'm feeling this way well, one day, or I'm feeling that way one day, or if I fucking listen to this kind of battle, this kind of bandit way, it's always everything. Uh, everything belongs together, you know. Everything is uh, part of a big, uh, I don't know, like. Mycelium, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So, are, are there any bands you would call having with kinship with? Are there bands that you totally relate to, or are you just like outsiders if we go outside Sweden? Yeah, it's uh, of course we have a strong brotherhood with Hypothermia, the Kim's other band, and we've been doing a lot of shows together and also uh, private festivals and uh, like different uh, meetings and gatherings and other stuff, but. 
Other than that, I don't know. Um, yeah, well, there's also connections to uh, our guitarist Hans other band Monats, uh, yeah, and their vocalist Rob, because yeah. we have known them a long time, and they supported our old band and new band uh, on many shows. So. Yeah, Monats is also a band that's really uh, they're really good, and they're kind of getting uh, flowing uh, flying yeah, under the radar. So uh, yeah, you should check those out as well. But yeah, that's uh, kind of the old brotherhood, you could say. And then of course we have a lot of friends in other bands as well and other artists and stuff like that. And we try to, yeah, if we can collab collaborate and it works to a, to a common goal, you know, we'll do it. You know? So uh, we'll, you'll probably hear some more guest musicians in the future as well in uh, Cal. Okay, so if we took out the crystal ball and uh, check out the future for Cal, how it's gonna look like? Well, we're recording our new album and it's going to be out this spring. Uh, albums even. Albums, yeah. We don't have enough space on one album for all the songs, so we, it, it will be two albums coming really short. So not a double album, but two we've albums. Been, we've been trying to start up with our own studio and get everything working. And it's, uh, yeah, it's taken some while to get it like professional, but we're, we're getting there. And uh, yeah, it's probably, hopefully, two albums out this year. And um, then we're going to just try to focus on... Touring the yeah. hell out of this world. Exactly. Doing more uh, great shows, I think. So are you focusing uh, on the future? In the future, is it going to be more like a live action or more like a studio focus? Both, for yeah. sure. Yeah, for, first, we will uh, focus on uh, getting everything finished in the studio. And then uh, we need to share that with the world and uh, really, really spread it effectively. And the best way to do that is uh, by live performances because we have a uh, really good stage presence together and uh, I think we can really get a lot of people uh, interested in what we do by traveling more. I think in the future you're probably going to see uh, like our own festival as well. Yeah. Hopefully we're going to have a you know, you're, our performances now are very raw, you know, they started very very basic, but it's going to it's going to develop into something bigger and who knows, you know, maybe later we'll have a, our own circus, you know, or something. <laughs> All right. Caravan. Okay, so final words. If you had one message you could uh, tell the audience or fans of Carl, what would that be? I don't know. <laughs> Is there any like uh, line of or secret information we should uh, find uh, within the lyrics? Uh, um, that you shouldn't uh, see boundaries but possibilities all right any final words yeah like Kim said you should uh, try to do your own thing you know and you should try to uh, like uh, we're doing you know we're trying to uh, to find something true to so find some real meaning in this uh, existence not you know forget about your shallow uh, expectations or your shallow understanding of the world and of uh, music in particular in that case we're probably going to have better music in the future and not this uh, and also less assholes probably you know so uh, yeah you should uh, you should follow us on, uh, on our journey I think all right thank you for your time guys hope you enjoy Finland as well and uh, may the rest of the weekend be as successful as it has been so far thank, thank you, you very much ja siinä oli sitten Kaala seuraavaksi siirrymme vähän toisenlaisiin kuvioihin pysykää kuulolla